guys welcome back to my channel so today we are still working on our project pan but today i am only going to be working on the palette as you can see i already have my base on and i did use my other project pan products i already worked on it on camera with you guys last week so i don't feel like there's a need to walk you through all of that again so today we're going to be playing with these two colors right here and i'm really excited because i've been wanting to do an all blue eye look but i want to incorporate this fuchsia right here in some way shape or form so i'm gonna do a pretty blown out neutral crease first we're gonna go in with caramel one of you requested in the comments for me to do more colorful looks i totally agree i should be doing more but pre-covid times i used to love experimenting with color so much i just want to ease my way back into it then i'm going to go a little deeper and i'm going to go into pumpkin spice So now I'm gonna go in with this purpley pink shade called Double Shot. I'm gonna try to put it right here in the outer V. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and blend it in a second. I just wanna make sure I deposit the same amount of color on this side. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more pumpkin spice. Oh, I wish it was fall again. This is so fall. Yes? Good, I'm still filming. Thank you. You like it? Can't really see, you know, because I'm being blinded by these lights. <laughs> but if you say so. Thank you. My biggest fan, everybody. Yes, it is I. <laughs> My biggest cheerleader. All right, we're now going in with cold brew. I'm really excited for this part. I'm gonna go in with a small detailing brush and back into that double shot shade and kind of blend these two edges together. Can you tell I'm concentrating really hard? <laughs> Working with color is definitely not easy. It takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. Okay, I kind of want to go in with a smaller blender brush. Maybe this might do. And I kind of want to blend out this blue. I'm gonna grab a little bit more and just blend it out. Go back and forth right here in the outer corner to make it brighter and blend it out it's not a full blending brush it's kind of it's kind of flat at the beginning and then it pans out at the end but I'm using it on its side and I'm going back and forth pushing this double shot shade into what is this called cold brew I am noticing a little bit of fallout so I want to take care of that before it permanently becomes part of my look so then going in with that original blending brush, I'm gonna take a little bit more pumpkin spice and I'm gonna blend the edges of all of this. I can't believe how good this is actually turning out. It's just taking a little bit more time, obviously, because you need to really focus where you're placing. You have to be very strategic, but I feel like this palette is providing me with every shade that I need for this exact look. I'm not having to be like, oh, I wish this was in here, except for one thing. I do wish there was something in this palette, but I'll talk about it when I get there. Okay, and actually, I'm using so many brushes today. I wanna get another detail brush. I'm gonna get this small detail brush right here and I'm gonna take a little bit of that pumpkin spice and blend the edge of this blue. Okay, now I'm gonna work on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take caramel and mix it with pumpkin spice and just connect it down here. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna take Macchiato. I'm also gonna be using the Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe to wet my eyeshadow a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this right here, right in the inner corner. What I do wish was in this palette was a gold. It's turning out great, but I just wish this was a gold. I'm gonna go put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. Now I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. And today I'm actually gonna fill in my lips. And then with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Another thing that I keep forgetting to use for my project pan is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I really don't want to use this, but I feel like I should. Just because even in my last project pan video, I just didn't use it. So, oh sweet baby Jesus, if this ruins my makeup. Should I even risk it? I'm not done filming yet. It does feel good, but I feel like the mist missed my face the mist is very fine but at the same time like it spits at you from every now and then just like right there and i think that's what creates the breaking up of the makeup and that is it for this eye look i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and i will see you guys tomorrow bye